Hello friends, welcome to my channel Data Making. In this video, I am going to explain you how to install Apache Cassandra on Ubuntu operating system. So I have a step by step procedure to install Apache Cassandra on Ubuntu operating system. I am going to walk through and explain you in detail. So Apache Cassandra is a columnar uh, NoSQL database system, which means uh, so when you take uh, any RDBMS table, all your records uh, are stored in the form of uh, columns and rows, right? Physically, the row is actually the data is stored in a row format in RDBMS. Uh, what happens is when you query limited columns, so it is going to uh, not giving it's not going to give good performance because it has to uh, load the data from underlying uh, storage. The entire row it has to read entire row from the um, <coughs> physical file format then it applies the filter so due to that when you read lot of data so the performance is uh, less so what uh, to overcome this they uh, come up with the uh, data structure or maybe the uh, data store which can actually store the data in a set of columns okay so set of columns will be stored in a um, in the file system underlying file system so what happens when you query limited columns, so only that particular portion of data is load, not the entire uh, uh, row is load. Okay, so it will improve the performance. So that's the reason uh, this NoSQL data store has come. There are many more features uh, Cassandra has that you will see the latest stage of this uh, course, okay, or uh, uh, this playlist. Uh, let's focus on now, uh, how to install Cassandra on Ubuntu operating system. So the pre-request is uh, you have to be installed with a Java programming language. So basically JDK has to be installed. To verify whether JDK is installed, you can either do uh, um, echo Java home, which is one of the environment variable. Or sometime if it's not set, you can just uh, go and check the version Java version. So this will give you an uh, idea whether Java is installed. <coughs> so I just uh, open the terminal. You can uh, go to show application and type on the terminal and open it or I clicked uh, control alt T to open it. So you can just say echo dollar Java home. So this is my uh, JDK 1.8 is installed. Uh, basically, you, you can use uh, either Open JDK distribution or Oracle Java distribution. So I am using Open JDK and uh, I am using JDK 1.8. Okay. Uh, you can install JDK 1.8 above for Cassandra. Okay. So or you can also verify if Java home is not set, right? You can verify Java version. This is also fine. So once you make sure Java is installed, now we can start with the Cassandra related installation. I'll just run this command. Okay, so this is run and then do cat. So it's there. fine, right? So the my if, uh, sorry for my confusion, install this if required only. I think this. If, if this you can just say if deb not found then you can install otherwise this is not needed <clears throat> okay now we just added the repository to the um, cassandra source list now add the repository key to the trusted keys so for that you just add this uh, run this curl command okay now run this So this is also run successfully. Let me clear the screen. Now go back to update the package index. Just run this sudo apt get update. Okay, this is also done. Now we can install the Cassandra. To install the Cassandra, run this uh, apt command sudo apt get install Cassandra. This is going to pull the repos uh, software from the repository and start 
installing it. So it will take uh, some time based on your internet bandwidth. Okay, so it's taking little time. So I'll pass on this video. Once I complete this, I will unpass it. So it is completed. Now let's what we'll uh, let's do is uh, just tail this. It is not found. Okay, let me check the status of this Cassandra. Okay, it says uh, active and running. Okay, so so basically when you install this Cassandra, you will have a service called Cassandra and it is in running. So I'll just stop it. Um, so there is a <coughs> tool called uh, <coughs> when you install Cassandra. Sorry, for, uh, I have a little throat problem. Uh, node tool status there is a node tool utility you can check that status as well okay so uh, status it says up or down Okay, now <coughs> up uh, stands for the status in the output should report even stands for up and normal, but it says up and down. Okay, we'll see why. What is the reason? There's a utility to connect the Cassandra. We'll try this. Okay, so it's not installed. <coughs> it's just this is not installed. Memory. Okay. Looks like this is not installed properly. I will try to run this once again. Repeat install. <coughs> it is already installed only. Okay, we'll see why the error has come. Uh, where we can check the log. We'll try to weather this file. Stumble locks. Cassandra. <coughs> there it is. <coughs> file location and Ubuntu just where log okay uh, 
ls slash where law and then you will see system underscore log and dry is here <coughs> inside Cassandra okay I'll just put this path over there Okay, let's uh, <coughs> again run this status command. String uh, run only, and then node tool. Okay. We'll check any issue. It says default uh, uh, created uh, default super user Cassandra. It says, is there any exception? Okay, let me verify this and I'll uh, check it. Okay, so this uh, SQL SH uh, was uh, not installed. So install using pip install SQL uh, SH command. Then I was able to log in. So and also verified this. Uh, uh, so when we check this log, right? So I did not see any error, and right? So so then uh, I thought it is running properly. So then I, I need to I verify the Cassandra default port number nine zero four two. By running this command sudo stat hyphen tulpn um, pipe and grep of this so this is also um, uh, uh, install uh, means it is uh, listening properly so this is to one command to verify it and then followed by I install this right so this was not installed and these two so after one, this is this pip inst uh, this Python package is installed. I was able to run this and the CLA is open. Now show key spaces. Key space is nothing but like uh, I show key spaces in proper command. Ah. Command. E space let's run come on show key space show just key space what is the command okay, show key space Okay. Okay, show key spaces only. Uh, 
or you can also run this they're saying let's try this okay so system in system um, underscore schema also you have this so this way also you can just check okay so I'll put this command over there okay so we ski space nothing but database so we will create a new database I'm going to create a social media key space and you have to define the uh, replication factor as well as the replication strategy uh, so we'll go with the simple strategy and then this is done and if you want to use that particular key space use the use command like what we do in the database we say use database name right similarly so you see outer sql ss is colon showing the database name which is like key space name let's create a simple table create table table name and followed by data, uh, column name data type and you are setting id column as a primary key you can use the primary key keyword so we have database like int text so this is create and we will insert simple one record and just select the table and see whether the rows are installed or cut. Yes, it is installed. So this is how <coughs> we need to install the Apache Cassandra on Ubuntu operating system. So yes, uh, so if you uh, just follow this uh, video and if you have any question please put uh, uh, your comments or question on the comment section of this video i'm happy to help you thank you so much friends